This is Dabu7. want to share with you here some information that I think is going to open the eyes of many. It should. It will come under attack because it's the truth. And it's what we've been saying the whole time. And timing is everything. You see, it looks like we just may be stuck with the choice of Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. And if that is to be the case, I want everyone out there to know, whether you support them or not, that these two individuals are related by bloodline, by the British royal bloodline of all bloodlines. And if you don't know anything about it, you've got a lot of homework to do. This is where the control of the crown comes in. And you can track both of these individuals right on back to an affair that was taking place. And you can see here, King Edward III, Felipe had, or Philippa had John of Gaunt, the first Duke of Lancaster. And his affair was with this woman, which he later married. But the facts are this. And people can try to hate it and deny it all they want. This is what I've been telling you the whole time. Who do you vote for, Dabu? Who you picking, Dabu? I'm not picking any of these people, is what I've been telling you the whole time. Got the same backlash when Obama was going into office, when we were calling him out on his atrocities before he even stepped into the office. All the droves that wanted to back him and support him, many of which now see. See that they've been duped. You see, all those people that wanted to lash out because they were believing in something false, well, that now they see. Well, now it's come in another form and fashion. All the Clinton supporters, the Trump supporters that believe all this because of the rhetoric that they spew through the TV, promising you all the promises that all the candidates always make. 75 plus percent of which never come true. And what they have ultimately done in the end is stick you with the choice of picking from a handful of elites that have all been groomed. So when you ask Dabu, who do you vote for? I say, bring forth a blue collared man and woman from the streets that has no connection by money to any of these elites, and as you can see, no connection by blood to these elites. And it goes right back to the British royal crown. So these are facts for all the haters that want to talk all the crap saying whatever they want to say. And they will still try to find a way to work their way around this, ignoring the facts that this is all controlled by the elites. And until you see that, you're still sleeping, okay? And that's going to bring forth a lot of haters. But guess what? Dabu7 doesn't care. I never have. I never will. To the death of me, keep bashing. Because Eight years from now, if this video is still sitting around, you'll see how I called it right on the money of these elites controlling the game from both sides, offering you the illusion of choice. I have exposed Trump. I've exposed what he worships. I've exposed the Clintons, the Obamas, the Bushes, the whole regime, the whole cartel. And you would be a blind fool if you turn a cheek and look the other way just because you already cast the vote for either one of these people. You still have a chance to wake up and save your country or it's going to be steered down the same path that these elites have been intending it to go down the whole time. And you would be foolish to think that they weren't on top of this long before. And they predictively programmed this. Trump is president. But there's something the folks may not have seen throughout all this. Went a little bit further. 
And look, there's your three stars of the empire of the city. D.C. is not part of your country. It is a corporation of its own with its own laws, its own flag, its own mail service, and it hails allegiance to the empire of the city, which consists of D.C., London, where there's another obelisk, and the Vatican, where there's another obelisk. Go ahead, turn the cheek the other way. Try to ignore it. You can't any longer. We're going to keep ramming it down your throat, whether you like it or not. That's how the truth is going to be served from here on out. And when they control the mainstream media, all they got to do on any given day is start dismantling any one of these candidates, dumping them with all the good or bad that they want. And that, with their fake polls and their fake rigged voting, it's going to put whoever they want right on in anyway. Was it really predicting the first female president? Well, guess what? It looks like it's going to be one of the two. And they had it all written out right there in front of you. So, quite interesting that it was the Israeli J-Post that puts this out on full blast. But then again, it's the Israeli world, my heritage site, that this all tracks back to as well. And of course will be attracting tons of new traffic because of this, but the facts are the facts. And if I can find a better site than that, I will pass it along your way. But let it be known that whoever you choose to pick in this election, if you've cast a vote, it's never too late to wake up and say today is the day to accept the fact that I may have been wrong, And that these people are in this together. And that that is the true awakening. Don't feel ashamed. Admit it. Take pride that you have awakened. It's a beautiful thing. It truly is. It's scary. It can be. But then you start to get very angry. And after you've been doing this as long as some of us have, there's, there's no fear at all. There can't be. Your anger overrides it. The search for truth, the atrocities the, these people have committed worldwide and what they will continue to commit. So, just like when Obama and all his goons came through and they all wanted to bash, I expect the same from all the Hillary supporters, from all the Trump supporters, that are buying both of them's garbage, that blindly took the bait right out the gate and didn't see past the illusion that they stuck, what, 10, 12, 15 top candidates on the stage to begin with and told you to pick from them. Narrowed it down. Narrowed it. All of them groomed. And you're telling me that the final two just so happened to be another Clinton, her, of everything with Benghazi. We go on and on and on with the scandals. And Trump, which like I said before, it seems to me like they're going to try to build him up to be the one that's talking good about veterans, getting rid of Obamacare. Trust me. He's talking good stuff. He has to, to get the people's attention or it will not work. And this is nothing short of magic, of black magic, occult rituals being held on the people in mass while you are in a trance. And we're going to expose this even further, even in these protests on the ground. You watch, we got some bombshells to drop. They're coming. And this shall be the first. And it's just the good old facts. There's no denying it. These two are connected by the royal bloodline of Britain. You cannot deny that. That is a fact. And to anyone awake, 
it says it all. So, those of you out there that want to fight the real fight, you do this. You expose the illusion. Or you keep feeding into it. And trust me, people that are just waking up are going to lash out at you violently and with hatred. They will have nothing but nasty, negative things to say in your comment section. Anywhere. But then later, when people come back and say, you know what? You may have been right. Thank you. After cussing you out, it may even take a year or so for them to come around. It is worth more than anything. Because you have awakened someone that was fully engulfed in believing this whole system. And they now have the eyes to see. That is the last thing they want. And that's why they hate us for what we do. I love all of you out there that fight the righteous fight. We're all just a bunch of nobodies out here exposing the truth. You fight the good fight. You fight hard. And you're just a nobody until somebody kills you. Don't forget that. The world stage is just that. And every bit of it is scripted with these theaters of war. The only people responsible for killing people within any country are your own leaders. They are in on this together and they worship something they're not telling none of you. It is not Jewish, Christian, Muslim. It is beyond that. And I've, I've talked about it time and time again. It's hidden in plain sight all around you. Right in front of your face. They worship that golden calf. And we're going to prove it. Because their paid protesters in the streets did just that. Instead of crushing the golden calf that they pranced around in the crowd and they told everyone they were going to destroy, they blessed it in the Wiccan tradition with sage and left it on a pedestal and then sat next to it and never destroyed it. When we called them out, they said, oh, it was just a metaphor. And to me, it was the perfect symbology of the whole movement of feeding the beast, tricking the people into thinking they were actually standing up to do something, to ride against the beast. And what did they do? They blindly followed and fed the beast and never achieved anything in changing this government in the process. All a bunch of hot air. It's all any of it is. So keep on buying the lies for, of the mainstream media controlled, well, the Rupert Murdoch controlled mainstream media and his buddies with George Soros back in the chaos in the streets. We're sitting on footage that we haven't even dropped yet that we're going to that's going to expose a lot step by step. Timing is everything. But from here, as everything is coming together, it looks like the DNC and the RNC in Cleveland are going to be prime targets for chaos, just like we've suspected. And it's going to be because these same individuals are bringing it your way. And who's going to be in the streets pushing it? Well, it's going to be the leaders of some of these groups that have been going across the country trying to build up a resume. Trying to build up a resume that they are the true heroes, that they are the true patriots, that they're the true ones that got the people to rise together against the beast. Like events you may have seen here recently that we're going to continue to expose. It's all part of the charade, folks. Don't wonder anymore. They are related by royal blood. So if you think your vote counts, you got some work to do. But don't be ashamed. I'm sick of it. There's no excuses. Take pride in awakening. It's time. It is that time. Awaken. It's been Dabu 7.